all right so this method does work only on console so that's both for playstation and xbox and both playstation and xbox both old and new gen so if you are on pc you do need to find a way to be able to get on console or just know a friend who has a console who can do this for you and of course you can use the same account just make sure you use the same activation account and everything will transfer so you do need the three accounts the host account the receiving account and a dummy account for this glitch so you do need three accounts on the main console so last things you will need two controllers in order to do this glitch and you will also need a mouse so make sure you do have a mouse plugged into the usb of your main console that you're doing this glitch on and then for your second console you just need at least one controller so real easy make sure on activision your second console account is added with friends on both the host and the receiving account. It must be added as friend. What makes this glitch an unlock all glitch, it goes by what the host account has. So whatever camos, operators, base operators, blueprints that the host account has, it will be able to transfer over to the receiving account. So whether this is an account that you have, another account that you have, or it can be an account that a friend that you know have, an account that a family member you know have, or anyone that you know have, or you bought an account, anywhere. This is a way on how you can transfer those camos that are hard unlocked to the receiving account and give those camos and blueprints as a soft unlock. And then to get done with the setup, log into the receiving account. Then with the receiving account, load up Modern Warfare 2019 and also load in Modern Warfare 2019 with the second console as well. Make sure that you have hit those agreements on this account because the glitch wouldn't work if you haven't already been through those agreements all right and you at least want to be on mono warfare 2019 and have yourself added so i already have myself added with the host account i'm now just adding myself with the receiving account guys and it's real important and required in order to do this method fully and another requirement you do need to have mono warfare 2019 bought and you do need to have both the multiplayer and co-op both installed so you see when i go to manage install you need to have all these packs installed also have the warzone calderia pack one and two installed on both your main console and the second console so all these packs need to be installed really except the campaign pack this one right here but all these need to be installed in order to play both and fully do this glitch what you need to do first is load up call of duty on the second console so on your second console go ahead load up call of duty and it must be on a console because this next glitch i'm about to show you guys it only works for consoles and really combining three glitches go ahead and load to the call of duty headquarters on the second account still all right there you go now once you load up go all the way down to where it says model for 2019 and just click x on it and let that load up now it's also gonna ask you to close app that's normal just go ahead close app and then from here is the glitch. It's not going to load you into regular Modern Warfare 2019. It's going to load you into the original Warzone 1. Because you do need to be in the original Warzone 1 in order to do this glitch. So with your main account, while that's loading up, make sure on your first controller, log into the host account. Then with your second controller, go ahead and log that into the dummy account. Look what happens when you load up. You guys see I'm actually in the Warzone 1. Like this is the real OG Battle Royale quads. Not so now go ahead start up Mono for 2019 with the host account. With the first controller. Then with the second controller that's logged into the dummy account. Click X and X. And then hover over the log out option. And then once it say fetching online profile you need to log out. So you guys see it in the background. We're going to wait till it says fetching. It says connecting right now. And it's in the way. But you guys see I'm hover over the log out option so it connection failed actually so if you ever get this error just restart your console and you'll be able to load all right so just restart the console so i'm doing the same thing connecting to the online then hover over the log out all right so the second controller log out the hover over the log out option after clicking x checking for update fetch an online profile then log out now with the first controller you're gonna need to click X. That way it hasn't popped up yet. Alright, then click X, X, circle, go offline, local multiplayer, create local match. Let the character load, and then circle, circle, go online. And then from there, it's gonna load you online. And then once you're loaded, you're gonna need to join up on your second console. So go to your friends list and join. So 
once you join your second console go ahead and on the second controller power it on and then log into the host account basically changing controllers and then with the second controller the main account click circle leave lobby circle circle and then with the first controller power it back on and then log into the receiving account and then load up and then click circle go offline go online real fast all steps to be done real fast then go ahead let that connect up and when once it is connected up you just need to join up on your second console so that's why you have to have both accounts added so it's about to load it up give it a second now once you load up on the receiving account you need to join up the second console account if you go over to the operators you see that all the operators that the host account has is now unlocked over on the receiving account so you guys see for the ghost face I can now select ghost face since the host account does have ghost face you do get to unlock all the operators that the host account has and if I go over to weapons then loadout even though this is a new fresh level one account it had no operators no skins this account has nothing and I'm able to get things over from the host account and that's including the camo too you guys so if I go over to the camo you see all the camos that was unlocked for this gun is there so if the host account had anything like Damascus, Obsidian, you know, any type of mastery camo unlocks, you can transfer them over and not only just for Modern Warfare weapons. This is for all Black Ops weapons, Vanguard weapons. So say if you had in Cold War, you had Dark Matter Ultra, the hard unlock. You can transfer that over from the host account to any accounts. Now, mind you, it is different now that Warzone 1 has been taken out. But what you can do for now is do this for Modern Warfare weapons because you can use these in Modern Warfare 2019. So, say for my M4A1, I want to go ahead and put Damascus on this gun and then just save it as custom mod. Name it whatever you want to and just save it. And it's now will transfer over to Modern Warfare 2019. Go ahead and do this with all your weapons. This works for every single camo. So from this glitch so far, not only got the operator, but got it in only just Warzone right now. Also got some camos that do transfer over. And not only just for camo, you guys, these are for blueprints as well. But say if I wanted to put a camo on a blueprint, these are also blueprints that's over from the host account. So this is also unlock all blueprints. And I want to put Damascus on this blueprint. Just save them as a custom mod so it's always saved forever. You need to do custom mods or there's no other way it'll save and it all will transfer it. But now to show you guys how do you transfer the operator in Warzone 1 over to Modern Warfare 2019. First thing you need to do is not be in the lobby with the second account. And you need to do this while having the glitch still loaded. You need to have... It where you can so still select any operator, still select all the camos. You know, if I was to close my app right now and try to do this, I'll have to redo this original glitch. First thing you need to do on the second console is go over to Modern Warfare 2019 Co-op, and then you need to start up a specials operation. All right, and then with your main account, go over to the operator that you want to bring over. Now you can bring over either a Vanguard or a Cold War skin. Cold War skins show both in lobby and in game for Modern Warfare 2019 and Vanguard skins only show up in lobby in Modern Warfare 2019. So if you go in game with like the Snoop Dogg skin or any of these Vanguard skins right here, they're not going to show up in game, only in lobby. So once you have loaded up to a co-op match and you're on this screen, you now need to connect your mouse into the receiving account. All right, now you guys see I just plugged in my mouse, log into the receiving account. So you got to do this at the same time with your controller. Now with your mouse, you need to click and hold on this ghost face or click on hold on the base operator that you want to bring over to Mono for 2019. And then with the controller, you're going to need to still operate the controller at the same time. So what you need to do now with the second console, send over yourself an invite and if you don't have a second console for this you can at least have a friend send you an invite that's doing this in model for co-op so have a friend going model for co-op and start up a match and send you an invite but yeah back to it send yourself an invite and then you need to join up with the playstation invite not with the activision invite while still holding on left clicking and holding with the mouse so join joining match loading assets joining game session now with the mouse let go and then with the controller click circle and then from there it should glitch over your base operator to model for 2019 so let's check go over model for operator got it first try 
you guys see I now have Ghostface and Mono for 2019 co-op so let's take off the second screen and look at this actually in co-op now let's go over to multiplayer you see you even got it in Mono Warfare the multiplayer itself and then remember the weapons guys those blueprints that we got so if I go over to the M4 blueprints there we go we got that Damascus and then for this pistol got that Damascus then let's also check that the SMG the MP5 we got the glitch blueprint yep that's that blueprint then we also got something else for that MP5 I believe it was obsidian blueprint and you guys see it all works and transfer over and just to show even more proof look this is a fresh level one account it's a level one gun there's no possible way obsidian or Damascus could have been unlocked you know so that's how you guys see and since I still have the glitch loaded up I can still select and probably do some more blueprints so now I'm about to load into a game and show you guys proof that this actually works. Alright you guys, you see that this is the ghost face outfit. You can just see by the hands and then look at the Damascus camo. Under fire. Got a personal radar. There we go. And also to show that blueprints actually transfers as well I did get my customized controller from them. I personally like the AIM controllers because they're made from the base PS4 controller. And not only that, with added modifications like instant buttons, back buttons, you can take it off if you want to. Custom color that you want to. You can put your own logo on it. You can put different text on it. This is just my first controller from them. In the future, there's going to be much more controllers that you guys are going to see. That is way more design. And if you do want your own custom controller yourself, make sure you go to the link in the description. It's going to be the website. It's called AIM Controller. And if you use code CASH, K-A-S-H, you will get 25% off of your total purchase. Set up for this method. Make sure you log into the receiving account or whichever account you want to get swapped camos on. And your second account or friend does need to still be on the Warzone screen. Same screen right here. So once you load it into Mono Warfare, you now need to go into co op. Alright, you need to go to loadouts and then in your custom loadout one, your primary weapon, put the weapon that you want to bring over. So no matter what weapon that you want to use, put a weapon in there that you want for you to bring the camo from warzone so i want to put a camo on my kilo right here so it's in my custom loadout one primary weapon slot all right so now that's part is in set so you're going to need your second account or friend is going to need to be in co-op and then start up any of the operation weapons loadout the main console and warzone one go to weapons loadout and then in your loadout go to gunsmith customize and then go to whatever camo you want to bring over so let's say I want to bring Dark Matter Ultra, a camo that's in Cold War, all the way over to this Mono Warfare Kilo that I originally put. So, you need to hover over the Mastery section and then plug in your mouse. Alright, so here we go. Go to the hover over the Mastery camo, click and hold, and then join from a PlayStation invite. So here we go. And then let go of the mouse circle, and then you'll be on this screen now you can select the camo that you want to bring over so i want to bring over dark matter ultra i'm going to select dark matter ultra and then circle out of that and if you go to your loadouts you see that dark matter ultra is in mono warfare 2019 all you got to do is save as customized so i'm going to name this one two for my kilo and then create a new modification now it, it should have been on the kilo itself So when you do select the loadout or the weapon that you want to have the camo on, make sure you select co-op. So here's my kilo right here. So some more proof when I go to my blueprints. Look at that, you guys. I got Damascus and I got Dark Matter Ultra. And then go to operator. Then go to loadout and then go to the camo that you want to do. So this time 
I want to do the camo. This time we're going to do the camo Damascus or Obsidian. So we're going to click and hold on completionist. And then now we're going to need a PlayStation invite. Click and hold and then invite yourself. And then join with the PlayStation or Xbox invite. Join the game session, load the assets. Join the game session, let go. Circle. And then select the camo that you do want to use. So I could do Obsidian or Damascus or Platinum or go all these camos to work. You can do this with any camo on any blueprint on any weapon, you guys. So make sure you do take advantage of this while it's still working this method all these methods that you've seen in this video should be working forever for the rest of mono for 2019 now that I just exit out that screen, you guys see, just make sure that you do save it as a blueprint in order for it to stick and save forever so you can always use them. So I'm about to do the camo swap one more time. So this is how you will reset up on the second account. You'll need to just start up Call of Duty again. Then of course, just load into Warzone 1. So click on the mono for 2019 at the bottom. Then you'll be loaded on Warzone. So now before I go and load out one, primary weapon slot the weapon you want to do so in my case i want to do this ak right here let's say i want to do this ak with a blueprint so i want to use one of my blueprints with the ak i'm going to use this blueprint right here then now i need to go over to war zone so now that i'm in war zone go ahead first leave party and then with the second or friend go over to co-op and then go ahead search up the operation then go to weapon edit loadout and then go to the weapon or the type camo that you want to bring over. So next camo I would like to bring over is another Black Ops Cold War camo. And this time it's going to be a camo for the zombie. So you guys know Cold War got the Dark Aether and all that. In this example, I'm going to be bringing over the Dark Aether camo to model for 2019. So all I got to do is hover over it, click it, and then go ahead get a PlayStation or Xbox invite so you can join from the platform. Join. Join the game session, load an asset, join the game session, let go on the mouse, then click circle, and then select the camo that you want to get. So I could get black or gold too. I can come back and do all of them. Dark Aether, and then click circle. So now if I go to weapons, you guys see that Dark Aether is now on that AK. And with the blueprint on it, you know, all the attachments, everything, I'm going to go ahead and save that as a custom mod. Easy as that. So now I'm about to go into a game to show you guys that this actually all works. All right, check this out. You guys see that I'm now in game, and this is Dark Aether from Cold War all the way to Mono for 2019 as well with the Dark Matter Ultra. You guys see I also got the other camos that I did save over. Remember, this was a fresh level four account. You guys, look at that. There's no way this account gonna have Damascus, Dark Matter Ultra, Dark Aether. A second account whether this is on PC this works for all platforms you just need first your main account and then second a dummy account it can be a new account that you make for this or if you have a second account that you never use or anything like that any accounts with no stats or at least low stats accounts that got a lot of deaths in game definitely help because all you're doing is your your second account is going to be the account that gets into the low stat lobbies and then your main account is going to be joining up on those lobbies so you get the benefit of joining the low stat lobbies basically reverse boosting so on both platforms go ahead have them on for 2019 loaded so i'm loaded up now and make sure you have yourself added with the account you want to reverse boost with of course and on a second console start up the game mode that you want to play and then on the main hover over the join op. your second account can be a pc as well so a pc or console and if you're on console you can also add another controller and bring in another reverse boost account to make this even more effective all right so i just brought in my second account because so now start up the match so with the second console start up the game mode that you want to play then once your second account is in the game go ahead and join now it said it was full but now there's a spot it's 11 out of 12 now give it a time it's loading all right and you guys see that it easily merged you just like that and then with the second console or second account now you just have to wait until the game start all right then once the game starts up enjoy the reverse boosted lobby from here this right here will make it where your lobbies turn from skill based matchmaking and all this did which just put me into the lobbies that the default level one bots would have had see that look at that and it actually can glitch them on the other team sometimes you guys and just to show you guys they're actually on the other team if you wanted to you also could put rubber bands on them and just have them actually stay in lobby instead of getting kicked for inactivity look at that this is proof that this is just a reverse boost lobby I should put rubber bands on them but just for the example usually they could be on your team you'll have to wait for them to get kicked for an activity but 
sometimes it really could misplace and put them on the other team. So free kills, free XP. Look at that, just kill one of them. There we go, here we go the other one. Look at that, you guys. You can unlock all the mastery camos to do all your headshot challenges. Max all your weapons and DLC weapons. But do not use this on like a good controller that you got. You know, I got customized controller and all that. Don't use it on your main controls because rubber bands can end up putting stick drift on your controllers. And I know that from experience. If you enjoyed today's video or found this video helpful, make sure you do leave a like and share this video out, man. I'd be greatly appreciated. Also, make sure you do follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. The links to those will be in the description. Now, if you guys need someone to do this glitch with, you could also comment down below and you can join the Discord server. And also in the Discord server, if you just want any of these done for you, there is a Discord server. So I will be linking that down below as well. But yeah, man. Other than that, it's me, boy KM, and I'm out. Peace.